भाई भवन ब्रिंगिंग न्यू लाइट इन टू कंटेम्पररी नेशनल एंड इंटरनेशनल इश्यूज फ्रॉम अराउंड श्रीलंका बाई असेंबलिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ यूथ दिस इज शारण टीवीज सीतल ईताल राठे प्रश्न लोके प्रश्न अलु विधि घट अलु असकिन अभी ओबट वार्ता करण चारण टीवी ओसे ओबे आलिंदे न सीतल ईताल वेडसठान So now to discuss this amazing topic that we have today that will be introduced to you in just a while we have assembled an amazing set of speakers and now let us introduce you to them First off we have Dinit Senaratne who is reading for his BSc in business management at NSBM Green University he is also a youth and peace activist welcome Dinit thank you for having me Sandro And next we have Shimar Rahmad who is a charter president of the Rotary Club of Pearl Island he is also a global youth ambassador for the international global network simulated by the United Nations headquarters in New York Shimar welcome thank you Sandra And next we have Senuri Jaisingh all the way from Noorelia she is an undergraduate in law and she is also the former Noorelia district coordinator for Sri Lanka Unites welcome Thank you Sandra And following that we have Amaya Gunatilaka who is currently reading for Sima at HR and HR apologies and HR at CIPM Amaya welcome Thank you Sandra And following that we have Angelo Prabhajit who is a head prefect and the interact president at Asian Grammar School Angelo welcome Thank you Sandra And finally we have Chiranti Senanayake who is an advocate for youth empowerment incubation and she was also the UN youth delegate representing Sri Lanka in 2016 and 2017 welcome Chiranti thank you hi boy the speakers have assembled hiranya it's time to set the agenda loke prathama vasa matavata sempratishava kiyana rokaya athi une covid kiyana virus paate athula thamai et सत वर्ष गणना गतवेला वैरस दरुण तत्ट पत्वेला कॉविड दहन मे कीन नमीन दहन मेदी चीने वुहा प्रदेश इसलाम पिट वार्ता विनवा एक शीघ्रवर्ष व्याप्तवेला लोके पुराम व्याप्तवेला जनता लक्षगणनी मेकट गुदुरुवेला आपदा तत्ट पत्वेला लक्षगणनी जीवित बिरीगणी अभी रटाक्वशे लोकयाक्वशे वसांगते गोधुराट पत्ना ये कॉविड दहन मैते अभी नवतवरा नगटी नोने वैरस पराजय करगे नगटी नोने अद अभी कथाक शीतल इतल वेडसट हनी कॉविड दहन मे हा समग अतु वेनसट अंतर्गत विला अणुगत विला अभी कहोमद अणुर्तने मे विधेयक जीवात्न कि जस्ट लाइक हाउ वेन एन एरो इज फायर्ड एंड हाउ द विंड so wind comes through to the arrow when it reaches as slowly when it goes towards its target even every type of change has resistance what is the resistance with the change that came from covid-19 to this world because it's not just only us who got to, who had to wait at home but many different arenas many different dimensions many different industries in the world that had changed that had to evolve and that had to face this change head on because of covid-19 the topic for today how do we adapt to the change of covid-19 and live on and now to speak about this topic firstly we have our initial first speaker dinit senaratna dinit the flow is yours ladies and gentlemen i believe we are all aware of the changes that covid-19 brought to our lifestyle our work environment as well as our education system but when we talk about what change would actually last i believe change would last mostly in the business sector and why i say this is because of three main things number 1 being automation number 2 being working from home and number 3 being changes made in the supply chain management then me automation kiyana wachane samara pirisata alut dek wenna puluwan meka singhalen beda gatta togalan tekka meka meka singhalen handunwanne swayam kriya karane kiyala swayam kriya karane kiyanne samara wita minisun dasa denekge bayamakin karanna puluwan wecha task ekak 
අපි යන්ත්‍රයක් යොදාගෙන තප්පර ගානකින් වැඩේ කරගන්නවා මේ දෙයට තමයි ස්වයං ක්‍රියකරණය කියන්නේ ඒ කියන්නේ අවම මානව දායකත්වයකින් අපි යම් කිසි ක්‍රියාවක් කිරීම දෙවෙනි දේ තමයි supply chain management නැත්තම් සැපයුම් දාම කලමනාකරණය සැපයුම් දාම කලමනාකරණය කියන්නේ නිෂ්පාදකයෙක් ඉඳන් පරිභෝගිකයෙක් දක්වා යම් කිසි භාණ්ඩයක් නැත්තම් සේවාවක් යන පාත්‍රයක අවසාන වශයෙන් working from home working from home කියන්නේ නිවසට වෙලා තමන්ගේ වැඩ කටයුතු ව්‍යාපාරික වැඩ කටයුතු කරගෙන යාම now the reason why i believe these changes would stick is businesses have started to realize that using these three methods can actually minimize a lot of cost for themselves number one being automation labor costs account to close to 20 to 30% of the overall indirect expenses of an organization if you are able to reduce this much further imagine the possibilities businesses would definitely take this one up the next thing is working from home ai man kiyanne me de wenasak widiyata randi pawatinne kiyala vyapara kalmana karana karana pudgalinta wageema vyapara wala sevaya karana pudgalinta de therenna athi tama yam kisi dewal tamange nivasata wala attanama karanno one karanna puluwa e hakiyawa thiyena we don't necessarily have to report to offices to get the job done we can stay at home save a lot of time and still engage in change and the final thing is supply chain management one big impact covid-19 had on the entire world on a global scale was that it exposed the vulnerabilities that existed in the supply chain system because as soon as covid-19 hit the main problem was people couldn't get their supplies consumers couldn't get the items that they needed so eventually businesses adapted to this they changed how they processed items and so on now ladies and gentlemen with this change comes something else we need to be aware of the change that could come further you see with automation with changes in supply chain management as well as with the option of working from home you need to realize that a lot of middlemen will be cut off which means a lot of people will be losing jobs these changes could actually lead to a high unemployment rate so we need to be aware of this and when you're changing the way you decide how you're going to take up a job when you decide which venture you're going to take up which direction you're going to lead your life please be attentive of this matter start to identify what job opportunities are actually emerging because if you do this i believe you'll be very successful when it comes to adapting with change please pay attention to the future opportunities as well as the future threats you identify the opportunities right i believe you'll be very successful in this post covid world and with that i'd like to conclude thank you very much thank you dinit for focusing on a spectrum that you can personally vouch for something that coincides with the realms that you work in in your personal life as well so he uh, ladies and gentlemen you must have seen how he aligned all the uh, technical uh, technicalities of the field of business and how this not only creates a certain uh, mismatch when it comes to labor etc these things also affect humans on a personal it's not just business as a whole and it doesn't affect you watching at home it does because he spoke about a lot of things such as unemployment right that is that has already hit its first wave first or the first few waves but we are also looking at a sustainable difference when it comes to this unemployment so how do you adapt to this change and that is what dinit spoke about today hiranya ඔව් සැන්ඩ්‍රෝ මේ වසංගතයත් එක්ක අපි ගොඩක් දැක්ක අපි ගෙවල් වලට කොටු වුණාම අපි gedara ඉඳන් වැඩ කරන නිවස ඉඳන් වැඩ කරන තත්ත්වයට පුරුදු වුණා ඒ වගේම තමයි අලුත් තාක්ෂණික මෙවලම් ඇති වෙන්න නිපද වෙන්න හේතු වෙච්ච නිසා අපි අර එක එක කෙනෙක් කරන්න පුළුවන් 10 15 දෙනෙක් කරන්න පුළුවන් වැඩේ රොබෝ තාක්ෂණයේ එහෙමත් නැත්නම් අලුත් නිර්මාණකරණයන් වලට යොමු වුණාට පස්සේ අපි අපේ රැකියා නැත්නම් විරැකියාව කියන තත්ත්වයට පත් වුණා මෙන්න මේ කරුණ දෙක එකට ගලපලා කොහොමද වසංගතයත් එක්ක රැකියාව gedara ඉඳන් කරන නිසා විරැකියාවට මුහුණ දෙන්න කියන කරුණ පිළිබඳ දිනිත් බොහොම අපූර්වට කරුණු ගොනු කරා ඒ විතරක් නෙවෙයි ඔහු අවසාන දී කියන අපි වසංගතයෙන් පස්සේ එහෙම නැත්නම් පෝස්ට් වයිරස් සිටුවේෂන් එකකදි කොහොමද මේ දේවල් අපි ඒ වසංගත කාලයේ තුලදී ඉගෙන ගත්ත දේවල් ප්‍රායෝගිකව අත හදා බලන්නට ඒවා දිගටම ක්‍රියාත්මක කරගෙන යන්නේ කොහොමද කියන එක 
රැකියා ස්ථානයට ගිහිල්ලම අනිවාර්යෙන් වැඩ කරන්න ඕනේද කියන එක අපි මොහොතකට ඒ ප්‍රශ්නාර්ථය ඔබට ඉතුරු කරමින් අපි හැරෙමු ඊළඟ තාරුණ්‍ය කතිකයා විදිහට දෙහාවට ඔහු ශිමර් අහමඩ් ශිමර් නෝ යු ආ මෝස්ට් වෙල්කම් ටු හියර් Greetings everyone. We've had previous speakers from the previous weeks or our previous episodes come here with us again and I'd like to quote one of them, one of the quotes that they had used. Well, they said change or the the only constant thing in in uh, the only constant thing in life is change. How do we adapt with change during this time and live on? It's quite a question, isn't it? Well, Seeing as though Dinit laid the foundation to this entire agenda, I'm directly going into the possible entities we could look into. Firstly, I'm going to pose a question. Is it a matter of accepting it? Or are you going to take the initial steps that you want in order to combat this situation? Let's move on to accepting it first. Acceptance starts from within. It starts here. All right? you accept it you accept the fact that you cannot do anything about it right because if you can do something about it go ahead right it's i'm giving i'm giving an open invitation to all of you out there if you can do something about this situation to convert the world into where it was back in the future go ahead all right but right now we need to accept the reality the new normal all right and then move on from it um what what comes in line with that is adjusting our expectations all right we what we focus on basically is um we were used to this certain kind of li- lifestyle right we had expectations that we want to reach the second we walked into 2020 what did we get we had a huge list of everything that we want to achieve so all of these we were expecting right it's time we adjust it not everything can be achieved to its exact level as of now it can be achieved maybe later or in some other way some other road but not this same way moving on from that perspective of the essentials now what does that mean you do know that um as mentioned in previous episodes we we've spoken about how people misuse the terms wants and needs right you don't the whole idea of this is the fact that people do not know to de- define what a want is or what a need is how to how to segregate them how to choose what you actually need what are your essentials all right so this is something that we as a collective group have to figure out as to how people can a solution rather is what i'm looking at all right moving on from that what we need to do is fo- focus on something that we can do all right and not focus on the things we cannot do okay so things like events and all that we cannot do anymore as of now because of the epidemic that's going on we can't okay people of course they want to break some of the people want to break the rules and do it somehow just for their entertainment just for their satisfaction but that's not right right one or two the mistakes one or two people make can affect the entire society the entire nation and entire globe so change again can start from you even the wrong change all right Next, I have another dilemma for you. Would you rather go on a politeness binge or a havoc lane? Okay? You do know the difference, right? So you have you have a wide range of ideas or things that you want to do in different ways, especially when you're at home during quarantine, during this time, you're alone most of the time. Your m- mind goes on to various extremes as to what you want to achieve what you want to do it can take you on the politeness binge it can some for some people it's positive they change like for small uh, uh, for drug addicts and all it's difficult in the beginning but it eventually changes right so they can go on a politeness binge and those of them who are already going on politeness binges they go on that okay but what happens to the havoc lane there are also a set of people who goes on that havoc lane All right. So how are we going to tackle them? This is something I want to bring here to this table. Apart from that, think of this chapter, think of this as a new chapter in your book. You've been writing a book ever since you were born, right? Each and every one of us has our own book. All right. 
think of this as a new chapter because if a, if one chapter does not define itself or doesn't def, or doesn't um, isn't different from the other chapters, what makes it different, right? This could be the chapter that changes the past from the uh, from the future. This present chapter could be the one that changes, that differentiates, that draws the line, that segments the two. Moving on from that, ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to derive your attention towards the Thurumitru campaign. Sorry, the Thurumitru campaign. It is a campaign that was launched by the Sri Lankan army to confront the economic crisis that is upon us all in the near future. This uh, note that this is not yet again another home gardening or planting a, a, a project that revolves around planting 300 or 400 trees. Okay, that's a common misconception that a lot of people go ahead with. What you can do is uh, research on it online. It's called the Thurumitru campaign. It, once again, I'm saying it's where we, um, the Sri Lankan army and road track, road track clubs or the road track movement is going and promoting home agriculture. All right, we've got quite a lot of experts on, uh, on this project with us. And we would like to extend our arms to all of you because we are also looking for donations and we're also looking for people, influential people, who can make a difference, who can actually get people to do this, uh, do home gardening at home. Why is because Sri Lanka, not just Sri Lanka, all of Asia will face an economic crisis, a food crisis in the near future. How are you going to deal with it? It's this, okay? Or else a national entity like the Sri Lankan army won't come together to take such a big step. Right? With that, I'd like to leave it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Shimar. Sandro, Mama Kamati Punchi Prashna Kahala Oyaging Shimar Kepudeva Katavate Atulkaran. Mukata Mama Didas Visa Aurudha Patangate Loku Balapur to Goda Cake. Mangan Mangitrak Nu Oyat him in the Api Aurudha Puravatam plan Nakakimatam Kala Satana Tudaga, the Minime Kalavan could make me they will curry, no, may they will patanga, no, may they will build Yanava. Shimmer Kiva with the head, Api Potak with the head Lian Patanka, the Das Vissing Arabic Arabin Niamitati Bevisa Dashake. Api Hamadam Alut Pariche, the Akdavasagan, Lian Patanga, the May with the Valdino, Minime, the Valinocula. Eight Martuma Simada. Penacote, Edaidanga Pi, Pitua, Lianda Patangate, Venus with the Hecate. G with the Venus and Patangata, Lokim Minisungi, Api Ape, Hamadekim, Apa Sate and Patangata. Namut E at which a Venusa take Api E Pariche de Aluthing Lian, Venus with the Hecate Lian Patangata. Shiver Buma Puru de Kiena and Nekaruna, Api. Covid the Haname Vasangatea Teke, a Athivets of Venice, Alut Pariche de Apidhe Liebu, a Pariche de Ape Givita Venasca and Pariche de Akbata Patkaragamukela. Mangan Harima Asa Vichakaruna Sandrik, Mangan Oyatak Mukakari Tekaran. Definitely Hirane, Mataka Dana Hirane, up me, the Daswis of Patanga Nakaling, Dawn of the Decade, the Daswis Alut Decade de Patanga Nikila, Kodak Energy Gatti, when it came to the next latter few months, everything came down because there were wildfires, there were so many problems happening in the world that ultimately led to the pandemic that affected every single one of us. And I think 2020, like Shimmer said, is just one of the many chapters because now you are sitting behind the screen must have read so many books, books that showed autobiographies, books that shows, showed other people's lives. But have you ever thought of writing a book of your own? Think, have you ever thought of, maybe you haven't written, have you ever thought of the story of your life? How beautiful it is, the small challenges you faced, and all of that. And how 2020 is a changing chapter, a changing year, just like 1948, just like 1972 for Sri Lanka. For so many people, 2020 is a year that is filled with mystery, but also a lot of change. And I think Shimmer very strongly highlighted that. Thank you, Shimmer. And that being said, here and now it's time to move on to the next speaker on the floor, Senuri Jaisingha. Senuri, the floor is yours. Api nidhaas avakashe ka husma gat samajay ki. Namut adavana vita ea seema vi ata. What's this about? Apita ada 
कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडमी के कनिसा आपस आपस सीएलओ देना हम मास देखा खो तुना का तुना का काले एक केदर एक वी सिरवी सिटिया इन दिस सिचुएशन दे अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर पीपल फाउंड व्हाट दे व्हाट दे रियली वांट इन देयर लाइफ इफ यू एक्चुअली सी देयर वर लाइक गुड एस्पेक्ट्स एस वेल एस लाइक नेगेटिव एस्पेक्ट्स इफ Himself, stay at home, and and uh, the ch- if it comes to the teenagers, they had to like stay with their parents, or like uh, if they if they were working uh, abroad or anywhere else, they had to like s- remain in the same sp- same place. Whereas like parents who were supposed to be working all the time, twenty four seven, had to uh, had to stay at home and like chill with their family. And if you actually see, there is a good aspect of it. Why do I call it a good aspect? Because of this rat race uh, in this life, this was a time where the families came together and uh, the parents, uh, parents and the children were together to identify themselves. And if you uh, to use an example of something that I know, this was actually addressed by a client of my mom, who actually didn't know that her kids were addicted to kind of drugs, and. Uh, and what what actually happened was uh, they never knew this and uh, due to this uh, whole situation they had to remain back at home and still get used to it hence they had to actually open up to their parents and say that i i am i am doing some certain things and i expected this from uh, uh, this all these time i have been using uh, these kind of things and whereas actually it's actually a good aspect because of course uh, of course not the not that the dr- uh, child is addicted to the drugs it's n- not that i'm saying that it's good but if you actually see they opened up to their parents so that the parents can come on uh, onto a solution whereas they can they will know if 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 the child actually needs uh, needs like uh, uh, recreational help or else uh, take care of the child by themselves and also on an aspect of an economical uh, aspect financially the people actually had to go undergo through certain situations and if you actually see look into this අපි හැමෝම ගෙවල් වලට වෙලා ඉන්නකොට සමහර මිනිස්සුන්ට කන්න කන්න නැති වුණා පැනික් මේ කර්ෆ්‍යු එක මේ ලොක් ඩවුන් එක දැම්මට පස්සේ ඒගොල්ලන්ට gedarin එලියට යන්න බැරි වෙලා කෑම බඩු ගන්න නැති වුණා සමහර කට්ටියට සල්ලි නැහැ ඒ බඩු ගන්න එහෙම තියෙන අවස්ථාවක gedara gedara තියෙන සියලුම දේ හරිම අර පිරිමැස්සෙන් පාවිච්චි කරන්න පටන් ගත්තා අපි ඒ ඔක්කොම ඒ ඒක වුණත් මෙච්චර කාල අපි නාස්ති කරපු දේ වුණත් අපි සෑහෙන ප්‍රයෝජනත් ප්‍රයෝජනත් විදියට පාවිච්චි කරා ඒ වගේම තමයි අපි ගත්තත් එහෙම වැඩ පොළක සාමාන්‍යයෙන් සිය දෙනෙක් වැඩට එනවා නම් දැන් ඒක සීමිත සීමිත ප්‍රමාණයකට 50 දෙනෙක්ට වගේ සීමිත සීමිත වුණා ඒ ඒන් වුණේ the workload increased for the people who actually come into the office right and what happened due to this is like we actually started caring for the other person and we took the workload to ourselves and managed to do it so this is actually something with that comes with caring because you actually cared for your own uh, not just for your own self but for the whole community as a whole and and especially when when we were actually from when i take it personally i wasn't actually uh, worried about me catching the pandemic but i was more worried about me giving it to someone else and i don't i don't really want to spread it to my parents i don't want to spread it to my friends not my community not to harm others and i think this this actually helped us to uh, make ourselves like more caring and if if i can say this in singhala do do thing bada no gatta ta hadawa thing api sipa gatta and in the meanwhile uh, we also adhere to all the rules and which is which usually doesn't happen in a lot of asian countries and but still when the government asked us to stay at home we uh, kept on doing it again along with this on the um, on the flip side uh i know a lot of people who lot of teenagers and a uh, lot of women who actually because domestic violence actually uh, increased during this period and uh, the most affected uh, uh, the most affected people were the women and the ch- kids so if you actually see on that hand side again uh 
When domestic violence was uh, used among the women and the uh, children, they actually found out methods to overcome that too. Whereas, like uh, you can call into different organizations and uh, other uh, other uh, other uh, authorities to get some help, and they were actually educated about it. It's not that it's good, but there again, like at least the education that comes along with it is something I I feel that is good, and it's it's in my opinion, and. Uh, also, uh, there was a lot of teenagers who actually was very anxious. They were very uh, depressed kind of and then stressed due to this situation because they are not used to staying home because the teenagers of these days are much more used to like walking out, going along with the friends and hanging around. But uh, what this actually happened, and I myself a traveler who mostly travels, I can understand how frustrated it is. But still, we used our, uh, used our time in different other activities such as uh, yoga, meditation, and uh, home, uh, home workouts, and cooking, or like different people started different things. I, uh, uh, there are a lot of people that actually started there are a lot of people who actually started even YouTube channels or like started the, started practicing music or singing, which I think is a good side again. And uh, for those who actually had, uh, uh, for those who actually had uh, issues, I think like the schools, because the children were actually adapted to this uh, COVID situation during the two months of staying, staying home, I think uh, from schools and workplaces, it's much better if, uh, if they could actually make them uh, change themselves into the new, uh, new lifestyle. Thank you so much, Senuri, for that amazing, uh, I would say one of the most detailed things that I heard about the change of the, that the pandemic brought through, especially when she spoke about you know, these personal uh, aspects of things, things at the home itself, things that most people don't talk about but have a really great depth to it. And especially things like, you know, parents who are really working and outgoing and, you know, who are rarely not home are now home with their, uh, with their uh, kids. And how is that affecting their psychology, good and also bad? And also when you think Think about the students now, even such as I would say I would be a really good example of that. I was always running around, uh, not at home, but we had to stay home because of uh, we had to pause all the work and we had to stay home. Not just me, even uh, you behind the screen as a young person must have uh, gone through this, definitely. So what are the changes that came through this, the personal changes especially? Because now, I don't know Disrespect or not, me at the time of Purdue school, like a keg, a hala, my kinala, or a fun negatic in the term. I'm the record who will anything. I'm negatama, then gither a kitiama, gither a saddimadi. Right, gither a wedding put the sun, then me the osala, my wedding, katagar and nedema beak, then Eva get ever put the put the tina. Then a psychological, Kuhuma the effect in even to the parents themselves, even to the people at home, the parents, the teachers who are parents, you know, so many different aspects. So is it good or is it bad? This is something we have to discuss in depth because that together, the, the building block of society is the home and we should definitely talk about these more these per aspects in more depth here and she mentioned it very well however and a few more things that she spoke about was domestic violence and also how we uh, adapted to change we used the, the scarce resources at home very well as well so many amazing things that she spoke about i think here you'd like to add something as well at the center of Sandra Cape, they were willing to gather in Patangata, a Pirimas for Kina de Purdu, and Apita Tiena de Apita Puluang, Perimeta P, Paris Sankaragan Purdu, Navagi, Masal Vasio, Tik, Natibaria, Tik, Bedahadagan Purdu, Natrama, Madevelimpa, Prachare Kerla, Arapirimas Makina de Bedahadagani Makin, the Apeo Lud Kavadu, Atrama, Vasangatea Tekapi, Goda, Hunda Deva La Pesi, with the Velta. Ekatu karega ta lang karega ta. Vitarak ne mai salary a thing kiyevena ma apni gedar te vela hitu poye maas dekato ne ka kala ya tulo ta apni aludeval gavesh ne karan patanga ta aludeval atha dha bala ne gane ka ta. Vage ma aludeval igane karan ne patanga ta. Tere maat sanro gedar te vela hitu pukale aludeval goda kigane ka ta alud baasha va kigane ka ta. Evi dehe goda te vela mangvitarak ne apni nivesidan naramur obat atha dha bala ne ta thi. 
නමුත් ඔබට ඒ අවස්ථාව මග හැරුණා නම් දුක් වෙන්න එපා. තවමත් ඔබට කාලය තියෙන අපි තවමත් ඉන්නේ වසංගත අවධානමත් එක්ක ඔබට ලැබෙන පොඩි කාලය ඇතුළත අපි අර පිරිමස් මෙන් ජීවත් වෙමු. බෙදා හදා ගැනීම අපේ ජීවිත වලට පුරුදු කරගමු. එතකොට වසංගතය අපිට දීපු හොඳ පැත්ත අපි ඒකට වසංගතයට බණින් නැතුව වසංගතය අපිට දීපු හොඳ පැත්ත අපිට ඒ ගැන ප්‍රශංසා කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙයි. අපි මේ කෙටි විරාමෙන් අනතුරුව නැවත වරක් කතා කරමු. කොහොමද මේ වසංගතයත් එක්ක ඇති වෙච්ච වෙනස අපේ ජීවිත වලට අන්තර්ගත කරගන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න කියලා. And after that short commercial break, we are now back on Sitala Ithala. And something, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you should know is that the next speaker has always an interesting perspective that shifts us inside out to the topic. So let's welcome her to the floor, Amaya Gunatilaka. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep this very short because we will be open to a much more deeper discussion about this. So to start off with, growing up as a child, my mom used to con con continuously tell me that uh, change is the most consistent thing in the world. It's the co consistent, the only consistent thing in this world is change. I hated it. I hated the thought of it. I hated it because it made me feel powerless and helpless. But as I grew older, what I understood is that the only thing that we can't change is change. Even if it's something that I like or dislike, we have to accept it. And I understood why we hated change. Because with change, ladies and gentlemen, comes in fear. And that's what we saw with the COVID-19 pandemic. It was unexpected. We didn't expect anything. We had full hopes for this new year to achieve our dreams and uh, our goals, perceive our goals. But this change uh, penetrated a fear among society, a fear among us and a fear with the future that we thought would be something that we are perceiving. So um, let me tell you a few tips to adapt with this universal law, which I'm speaking in a very general way regarding the which you can adapt to the problem of COVID-19 and every other thing in life. So the first one being flexibility and embrace, to be flexible and to be to embrace change. So to start off with, what we need to understand is our bodies change, our loved ones' bodies change. There is birth, there is death, there is success, there is failure, there is pleasure, there is pain, there is health, disease. We can dis disagree with it, we can hate it, but we can't ignore it. And that's what we saw with the COVID-19 after effects. There was, there was um, we saw every part of uh, how, how, people, how people responded to it, how our security forces responded to it. And what we saw is um, the after effect of the COVID-19 made us um, learn a new lesson in life, and that is to embrace change. So the second tip would be to adapt in a rapidly, rapidly changing environment, a rapidly changing world. So the world is not only changing, but it is also changing rapidly in a frequency that we can't, um, can't maintain ourselves, our own rhythm in. So uh, I would like to question, why did a computer company invent iTunes and not the music industry? It's because they understood the change coming and the music industry was only focused in selling albums while iTunes understood the depth of the change that's about to come. Because they saw their customers, the music industries, industry saw their customers um, actually listening, actually collecting albums in stores, but iTunes saw customers actually listening to the music. Why did Amazon invent Amazon and the guy who prints so many books a year did not even see the Kindle? It's because they were too busy to protect the old model that they had. So I think if you go down the road of protectionism, protecting and keeping away from change, 
you're shutting down your own business. So understand change, adapt to change, get off your comfort zones because you, can, you constantly evolve as a human being and you also must be creative in this new world. Uh, you know that there's this theory that should be uh, taught in school and I believe that today we need to discuss about this being adapted to a school education system. That we need to teach this theory to students from a very younger age. Because in school, what do we learn? Once a nerd, always a nerd. Kids should be taught to be flexible enough with change. I'm sure so many problems would have not been faced if we had been given that kind of education and awareness to all of us. So what I need to address all the people at home who are watching this show is that everything changes. And I want you all to understand that because everything changes, don't give up on people. Everything happens for a specific reason and you might not see it now, but everything happens for the best. The only consistent thing is change. And it is only if we adapt to this that we can go forward. Something that was clearly mentioned earlier as well, Amaya put a really better depth to this topic and to the word change, I would say. She mentioned uh, something uh, that everything happens for the best. Now, this is something that it's it's very hard for everyone to understand. right? When Because now, like uh, Amaya rightfully mentioned, when she said uh, change, change is something that brings discomfort because we don't like it. Unless you are really, really excited, right? There is even a slightest thing. That is how the human mind works. The mind will always try to stop you from doing what is uncomfortable. Because that's why the human mind is made for you to survive, for you to be comfortable. But it is when you don't listen to your mind, when you listen to who you are inside and go forward, Avoiding your brain, avoiding the comfort zone is when you get things done. And that is how we adapt to change. That is what Amaya mentioned and showed all of us. So while thanking her for that, I'd, I'd like to also mention these, uh, this adaptability, flexibility. All these aspects are things that you should be able to cultivate from your own home as well. Oh, Sandra. Amaya ke khata ve visheshe me kiye vechha karu deka thamai apni namme shili venno ne venasata hada ke hanno ne. Eva ke men thamai seagrain venas ven venasata moona dena vidhe ata apni anugata venno ne kine. Men me karu deka thamai Amaya ke sampoorn khata ve thale me kiye venne. Eva ke me avasan vashen yojana karno a kohumad paasal padhatiye thole paasal adhyapan krame de me namme shili ba ve sa venasan samajya ke jeevat venno ne kohumad kine karu ne kohumad paasal padhatiye प्रभाजी Now, as most speakers have spoken, change is something that has been happening for quite a while, right? Ever since time has started. But why is it now that people are throwing a tantrum because they can't uh, adapt to it? Let's take to the let's take this to the most basic level, right? Where have you first seen? Think about this yourself. Where have you first seen uh, someone being angry about there being change? For me, I can tell you positively that it's through cartoons. Right? So in, in every single cartoon, there's at least one episode where that main character throws a tantrum because he can't stand the change. Because that something different is something he can't adapt to properly. And we, as kids, we didn't actually ask why, right? Allow me to talk about this topic, about change in a perspective of a student. As a student, obviously, we've uh, been shocked, as the rest of the world. Shock is something that came to everyone, right? And following it, it was the suddenly one week later, we were supposed to go to online classes, get the apps downloaded and to be in class, right? And I think most of the older audiences here might be under the impression that online classes are effective. 
in most cases I would agree but there are at least many cases where these are not effective because the self-discipline of children of the students actually has to be there which uh, you can't blame them for not having actually because focusing in online classes is actually really hard a really hard thing to do compared to being in a physical class because um, there's no physical interaction and there's no social interaction there's no you don't have your friend to ask for notes when you miss it it's those subtle things that matter and then they are started the, this thing to, of being productive your friend started doing music professionally he started his youtube channel he started um, uh, posting videos of him gaming and all sorts of things right and you started wondering why am i not doing anything why am i not being productive and then there was this conflict with, between you and you being useless because you are not doing anything productive and uh, you start doing things that you don't want to do now this is something that just came up because you couldn't stand the change right and uh, i i actually um, to every, to all my friends i've told this that i don't recommend them doing this because um, forcing yourself into something without actually having a passion to it will not get you anywhere anyways right and uh, even I, even my friends okay i'll take them for example my friends even in classes they've had issues with data having data to join classes right and um, taking this to a local perspective every single person has a different background every single person has a different cultural background right so obviously they not everyone will have this uh, um, the possibility of getting um, access to these um, online classes and so on and so forth so what will happen to them will they entirely miss out on these studies will they have to catch up entirely uh, on their own or what exactly will happen to them and one more thing that i've seen locally that happened in education in the education sector because of the change is that even though sri lanka is, is a, a nation that provides free education suddenly there's this mark, uh, rush to make education a market commodity because um, they've tried to make profits of it because right now it's essential that's not available um, efficiently right and now taking this to an international scale right um 184 countries have been um have have had country wide close down of schools and that's a lot right that, and that's actually most of it and um one thing to emphasize on is the pile on effect now this effect is uh, something that has a risk of regression because not every child is the same right so not having the education for this time period even though it's small will have a long term effect on them right and this is the uh, risk of regression and because um for certain people right not everyone is the same um there's people displaced there's students that have been displaced uh, students uh, migrants um differently able students and for certain students education is life saving education gives them hope education is what keeps them going and that exactly is why the lack of education um will cause major damages to them in the long term right and talking about humanity in a in a general right humanity has humans all humans have this uh, bias bias towards being negative right a negativity bias where they always want to focus on the negative right and when the when this uh, catastrophe the pandemic struck that's what we focused on we focused on the fear and the fear was contagious from one person to one person even a person who was full of hope can be put down by a person who was full of fear right and this contagious fear is what built upon and um, actually resulted in the panic that happened in a global scale right and one thing i can see here is that with changes um adapting to change like amaya said adapting to change okay now if i can talk about this in a business perspective because uh, the company zoom the company zoom um, which was not widely used at all um, until the pandemic struck and online classes started and uh, uh, certain things happened and they the use of it became viral right and with this they had to face a lot of issues you know um, having a mass number of people logging into the servers they had to adapt quickly right and because of this i feel like this is a good example to how people taking this to a person's perspective to um, ensure that they evolve to the situation accordingly right and to um, give my final remarks one of, the, one of my favorite quotes was um, if i was someone that someone said if i was asked to sum up life in three words it would be it goes on because life doesn't stop it goes on anyways 
and the only thing we can do is embrace the change and um, and adapt and act according to it. Thank you. Jeevitha ohe gevila anama. Vena seem siddha venama. Vena sita muna deila artha vata jeevitha kata karana one. Angelo antima vashen Angelo ki kata vedi ivar karana meni mei vidhi hita. Vena sana kisima deak nati loke kabi vena sa ikka jeevat venna one kiyana de. Ohu paasa shishya krisa venna taati si kata vatu le agena पेन्ने नव मोने विधि है तो द मैं वसंगते आते का अध्यापन रटाओ विनाशुने ये वाके में विविध पारिसरे आन के न अध्यापने हदारे न दारु आंटे मोने विधि है आरबुदे आन वाले तो मुहुने देने सिद्ध होने ऐते आरबुदे आन वाले तो मुहुने देवीन कोहमारी तमांगी लाख करा गमांग कराने कोहमल देखने क पाउडर के प्रश्न आके रखा रहने तो रटे प्रश्न आके लाही तला लोके प्रश्न आके लाही तला एक रे नोबी एवं मुहूने दीला एक अट अडाप्ट नहीं मतलब ता हैड गहने को मध्य के ने कता माय सेंड्रो अदा पिसे इतली तला तुलिंग खता कराने मांगी तने वाटा एक तो कराने दे आखिर बोता निमारे में कवाटी ना यस I'll copy it down and I'll give it to you tomorrow. Those small things, you know, the uh, missing a writing book or uh, missing a textbook, these small, small things along with the uh, negative effects that he spoke about. How uh, people start comparing, oh my God, this person is doing all of these things during quarantine, during uh, uh, big, uh, all of these things, but now I haven't done anything. But doesn't mean, like Angelo said, doesn't mean you have to put yourself down. Everybody has their own timing. And that is why things will work out because things always, like Amaya said as well, things always happen for the best. And fear is contagious. That is also something Angelo said. Fear is contagious, but you should also know, so is love. So is the goodness in the world. That is also as equally contagious. It depends on how flammable you are, quote unquote flammable, you are to this inspiration or to this fear. If you think fear, you will attract fear. If you think goodness, you will attract goodness. So thank you, Angelo, for summing that up for us. Moving on, we have our final speaker for this episode, Shiranti Senanayaka. Shiranti, the floor is yours. COVID-19 virus se pinbu Sri Lanka niti padithe sidhuye yutu menaskam. मैंने मई माह तो कहा था मैं मागे का ताय मां आवेदने युम कराने में कुछ मामले नीति शेष्ट्रे सामाजिक एक उर्तिके खींदा तो एंग श्रीलंका वे वातमा नीति पाद्धति के ने खाता करो मैं वातमा नीति पाद्धति है तो टम आपे इंग्रीसी याता त्रिचित काले फैवते ने नीति पाद्धति आता मैं आपे आपे वातमा नहीं दिए Ani kemasan setiap kali game COVID-19 virus ini, pida itu patut puna balap ayam dek laku na. Tapi apa dekat dekat sama ini virus ya agamannya itu sama gama. Apa ni itu sesuatu yang tiada double tak kipai. Apa itu penum kalau dulu na COVID-19 virus. COVID-19 actually showed us certain inefficiencies and certain problems that exist in the legal system and structure of Sri Lanka. So when the virus actually started spreading, the Supreme Court issued an order saying that all courts of the country have to be closed until the virus situation is under control. That means for over two months, the court structures were not operating. That means for over two months, the justice process and the law process actually halted in this country, right? Think about it. The process that deals out justice actually halted for two months, which is a significant time period. Then May Una, they may see the women up to Padli Dakhtamai. मैं पहले उन्हें देख था मैं देख अनिवार्य में कोविड 19 गोली वायरस है न तं गोली वासंगते में अदर उसाविय वासाता बार नॉन मुकदम प्रदेश के उसाविय के तमाय मिनिस्ट्रो एक्रेस है ने इन द में वागे पुदुजाने एक्रेस है न तं ना अनिवार्य में वासाता बार नॉन नमूद में कोविड 19 वायरस है आप � 
and there is a lack of mechanization, inclusion of technology, and lack of automatic processes. Mukadamang mamede kyan hai to tham ay na usaviya vehua vitarai. Nadua ka kisi ma kote saagne tang nadua arambe hoeva nadua avasani hoeva kisi ma kote sa khata karega na avastha va timpe na hai. Mukad aphe niti padhti atarem padanam velati ne. लिखित हा मुद्रित कोल खेली मत तब परिणाम मिलाती है ना पे नीति पाते एवरी थिंग इज एक्चुअली प्रिंटेड एंड एवरी थिंग इज रिटन डाउन राइट सो दैट इज एक्चुअली वाई अपे नीति पाते सूम वे महत्या पावी चिकल नीति वे कुट तमंग प्रकाश उसा भी लबा दे अवस्था वगैन आप हिता बेरी बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज डन मैनुअली इन स्टेटस को रईट सो दैट इज वाई वन थिंग दट नीड्स टू बी अर्जेंटली डन इन द लीगल सिस्टम ऑफ श्रीलंका इज टू इंश्योर दैट वी इंट्रोड्यूस टेक्नोलॉजी टू द लीगल सिस्टम एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली एन opportunity for any entrepreneurs i know for a fact that there is a company called legister that is trying to introduce a package by which lawyers can conduct their bookings manually so make atharam avasthava vyavasayakayanta neeti paddati sambandha wenna which is to introduce technology to the legal professionals then hondam udahana thamai then mama addakimi ma dannawa civil naduwaka yadum karuge prakashaka kiyanne plaint ekak kiyala plaint ekak usawiyata laba denna copies pahak hadanna one then plaint ekak प्रकाश कॉपी दूषण कार्यक्षम अनागते सुधुसुविधेट पवती अनिवार्यम ताक्षण अभी भाविता कल युत हम अभी दख दख मई मे out of necessity avashyata ave nisama the higher courts of the country like the supreme court actually released a statement saying that the initial documents of certain cases minor cases will actually be accepted via email that you can send it via email to the supreme court and the court of appeal have pradeshiya usavi mattame me wage deyak kriyatmak karana kiyala hitanna wada eka thamai yatharthaya mekata attadama api neethi vurtike inna neethi nyavarunta e wage minishakara varunta varadda pawarala hariyanne mokada e pudgalinta नीति हाक्षणिकट संबंध ताक्षण भावितमांगे वृत्ति कल पुरुदे ए हिंद मम योजना करण विशेष मैं नीतिशेष कौर हरी शीतल ईतल अद नरम मम योजना करण वा अपे तीयन वा लॉ कमीशन ने कहा नीति कौमिस ये नीति कौमिस में सामाजिक अंत मम आराधना करण वाटे नीति श्रेष्ठ अट ताक्षण उदवाण्य कहुमद किए गवेशन अक्रा गवेशन अक्ल योजना लबा दे वार्ता वा किदरी पत्करा अपे बासोसिएशन ऑफ श्रीलंका मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जस्टिस जुडीशियल सर्विसे कमीशन से वेम अपे उषा भी पद्धति अट मे योजना वे वार्ता व लबा दी ला हेमोम मे खांड मे कोटास्कर्वन हेम दिने संबंध वेला ये वार्ता वे तीयन वार्ता योजना क्रियात्मक करियुत ये मंख्यान गमती कॉविड नाइंटी वगे बेरारूम प्रश्न अनागते आया आवत अभे नीति पद्धति एक मुहन दिन है कि वर्तमान दिन तत्व हिंद तो मम एत में पौदलिक विश्वास करते हैं नीति अने नित्य साधक है इट्स अ पर्मनेंट फैक्ट मानव सांगति पवती न का नीति पवती न सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस इन अ कंट्री दैट द जुडिशियल प्रोसेस एंड द जस्टिस प्रोसेस डजन हॉल्ट बिकॉज दैट इज असेंशियली ए फाउंडेशनल प्रिंसिपल ए हिंद मम ए हिंद मत मैं मम किया आप नीति पद्धति अत्यावश्य साधक विलातीक्षण अतुलत कर मे दे आप कॉविड नाइंटीन वायरसे कल दुना ओम स्वृति The courts were closed. Judicial processes were halted. A main pillar that runs a government was left abandoned. This is a reality of the legal system of Sri Lanka that had to face the change that came. And Shiranti rightfully mentioned and showed us how this avenue was very much drastically affected by the change of COVID-19. I would also like to mention a few things uh, that she mentioned when it comes to uh, the. Uh, she made a plea, Shiranti, if I'm not mistaken. She made a request from the law commission. If there are any lawyers, if there are any uh, members of the bar association right now watching, 
please do come together, reach out to Sitala Itala, get in touch with the community that is here and let's take a step forward. Let's do a research and that with along, if, if anyone from the Ministry of Justice, if anyone from the Bar Association of Sri Lanka, if you are present here right now, because we have two law students here uh, and we have a lot of legal students who have joined this show as well, a community. Sitala Itala is once again, it's not just a TV show, it's a community of youth, a different kind of youth that slowly we will build to change all of this country. So if you do think you can add value, do reach out to this program. And that is, a, that is I think, the most important uh, plea that Chirantiaki made because this is something really uh, uh, time uh, that is really important right now, Hiran, and that we can actually, it, it's realistical that we take this step, that we announce it right now as our responsibility as a media person speaking right now. Don't you think? Anivadam <laughs> 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 अनिवार्यूर <laughs> Baladharint, Kriatma Kavena Puluan Pirisate, Adrani Mahaturna, Bohoma Adrang in La Citinova, Obata Haki Kriya Marge Gand, Puluana, Sri Lanka Veneti Padatia Taxion at the Kekata Rangila, Mita Vadia, Prohunda Pragamanekata, Niti Shestre Tule, Atikaranata Vadakat Bavia Katikaranata, Vada Prajanavate, Anakata Niti Shestre. Api bad hit you with the Vasaka. I think make it with Ramen and Thuru. Api Balamu, own Kohomade, Ekineka Idripat Karapu, Matayan Tule, Gatum Matikaragani Kiela. After that commercial break, we are now back at Charana TV's Sitala Itala. Change. Change was what we were talking about and change is something consistent and it goes on. And this is the biggest change we have come across in our time, the change of COVID-19. Now the speakers will dart questions at each other regarding the points that they spoke about throughout their speeches. Any questions, everyone? Well, I actually have a question towards Dinit and yes, what you brought forward with regards to the work from home regime. Um, seeing as those, I do know that, I do acknowledge that Sri Lanka has taken a few steps towards uh, tackling this, especially in the corporate sector. However, how feasible do you think this would be to the rural areas of Sri Lanka? Is it possibly viable to accommodate everyone in Sri Lanka? No. So, you see, the first step the government took was to contain the entire problem, right? So I believe people that actually work from home, especially people from the rural and grassroots community, struggled at first. Namut ape rajenga tekpiyara tamai me sahan rupya pandha sa ke sahan mudala me putgali inta laba dunna. I think gatalu tibba mandanna rupya pandha sa kin jiva teno kyan lesi dek ne me. Namut komhari me putgali in diri matvela komhari me sati dekatuna kalle gata kara mahansi vela amaru in gata kara. Namut me tekko mua dekka da raje. If you realize it, only major cities around the western province and several other provinces were, you know, completely on lockdown. Uh, they actually gave freedom to people in the rural community to do their daily work and engage. So you see how that worked out for them? And at the same time, when it comes to the whole work, work from home regime, I was talking about mainly the corporate sector. Because companies that I know personally took the extra step to provide people with computers and internet access if they didn't have it initially. So, and like I said, this is a way to cut costs. If you as a businessman had a way of cutting your costs in a, and work in a much more efficient way, would you not take it? 
Oh, that, th thank you for that. Actually, that was that was quite quite an answer. But see, seeing as though I do understand the patterns of how Sri Lanka released the the curfew, that has in uplifted the curfews. However, there is one thing that I do want to stress on. Even within the suburbs of Sri uh, of Colombo, all right. Uh, even amongst the work from home re regime, the schedule that worked through, we we saw an increase of thefts, robberies, kidnappings. Uh, Kidnappings in, inside of Colombo, all right, and in the suburbs of Colombo, it was all over. It was on some of the news channels as well, and they were expecting ransoms. So these things were because of the people who were suffering, who couldn't work from home. Okay, the whole point of the work from home thing is, or uh, is entirely a good concept. But what I meant by everyone's not able to afford it or everyone's not able to stick to it is because everyone's work does not only include a laptop, right? So, okay, the rural areas were all right, but what happened, what, how do you think we should tackle the people inside, inside of Colombo who were stuck in their homes, who did not receive this? I mean, if they did receive it, maybe it was not enough for them. Maybe that's why they went into these extremes. I mean, in their perspective, if I was a father of three children and I had to feed them, I have to do something, right? I think not the wrong way, but if I have no option, in my perspective, if I was him, I would think I would think it's right, even though it's wrong, right? Because I would rather feed my children than do the right thing, right? Exactly. So when it comes to that situation, uh, my friend, I think the first thing would be is to look for help from family. You know, okay, you might be in an area where you're actually struggling, but there could be a chance family members could maybe provide monet monetary compensation for that. If you don't have that option, you can always call major news channels, major hotlines, and get in touch with them. Because we know we live in an era where radio channels, news stations actually bring attention to people that struggle. And even then, it, uh, I believe that some uh, major organizations did, in fact, do uh, conduct these donations to major areas of uh, Colombo and even urban, uh, sorry, rural areas as well. This was done as well. I know this didn't reach everyone, but it re did reach someone. I think that is what matters. Uh, no, you I see, when you do that, a movement is created, right? Exactly. And that that could be something that would be consistent. I think that's something for all of all of you out there to notice, because see. It, it takes a collective group of people to cha make that change in everyone else's lives, right? So that's what I try to bring through this point. And Thank you. Uh, I'd like to re uh, uh, bring a question to uh, Shirantek. This is uh, with regards to the legal system. Now, we have a big, now, over the past uh, a few, uh, the past since the pandemic approached us, they are, the courts have been closed and sure they have been maintaining uh, yes. their pace in uh, some way. Uh, but Shirandi, don't you think that there is a certain, uh, there is a certain, I would say, a gap in time mm -hmm. and when it comes to legality as well, there is a lot of thoroughness that goes into it True. and uh, all of this. So do you think that, so basically what I'm asking is, do you think that the legal system will be able to catch up on their work? Mm -hmm. Um, actually, Sandra, to answer that question, the reality of the legal system in Sri Lanka is even if COVID-19 didn't happen, cases take quite a long time. So, okay. now for example, I have seen cases, property cases. COVID-19, <laughs> Then Hitanuku lawyers are then in the Gana by Salama, then Palavini Nadu, Halivera, Katakaragano, Divani hearing a card at the end. Eka Tuna Samani, Pebaga, Kitriano, lawyers are then a diary carrily verilla in the Gana, Katakaragano, and one of the Nidaski, like in my Prayo Kikakiani, in the May Pudi Deuna, at the Mapita Kale. Gudak Siva Karagan Pulam Pavichikana, Pi Udhana lawyers, Ladin Gulan Google calendars, like Shakaragatana. Can you Pabagia Kanate, Vinadi Park in the Gabi Varakaran Pulam, the Atarte Latini, a pay Padati, a coacher, sample like the Kinana, Hamadema Venikita, Hamadema Venimudrita. Then Covid nineteen Abita Padrik Ladune, then Dikita Mudita can Padatia, Bahalakaran Beni. Ehinda Apita Padim Kira Duni, Anivarim, me, Visheshim, Majatika, Araksha, Pilipanda Vasta, Karata Vahut, Anivarim, Nitipadu, Kriatmagini, Nakianik. 
Thank you for that, uh, Shiranti. And uh, if everyone looks at the center of the room today, you'd see that me Venice ki na de attram tool leka Venice ki na de apit head again. Kiran, you'd agree with me. Kena tool leka tamai taakshine. Mujhe abhi business ka taakrat, legal problems ke na ka taakrat. Okko ma inne ara the the elephant in the room, you would call it. That is technology. So when it comes to this as well, uh, everyone now. Your separate fields now, technology, even education. Angelo, you also spoke about this. How even though uh, children call like in no class second, you know, have a lama ethening hat or attendance like a mark karata ethana ethening hat and a So, how do you think we can encourage as a student? What uh, tell Angelo, uh, would you how would you like to stay in class? Why would you like to stay in Sandra Mang ethan to me the aka the karana kamati, muka the me appear the katakara buddha to lapi katakara, takshane at the kat, the apane kum the කට ගැටෙන්නේ කියලා. ඒ කියන්නේ මේ වසංගතය හමු. අපි මං කැමති ඒ විවෘත ප්‍රශ්නයක් විදිහට ඉදිරිපත් කරන්න. වසංගතය ඉවර වුණාට පස්සේ කොහොමද අපිට අධ්‍යාපනය හා තාක්ෂණය එකට එකතු කරගෙන අරන් යන්නට පුළුවන් කියන එක. මං හිතන්නේ අපි විසි එකන සේවසේ ඉන්න නිසා මං හිතන්නේ ඒ ප්‍රශ්නෙත් වසංගතයෙන් පස්සේ අපි කොහොමද තාක්ෂණයයි අධ්‍යාපනයයි එකට අරගෙන යන්නේ. Now firstly uh, if I if I may if I may add on to what uh, Sandro said. Um, so the thing with students is that they are more inclined to following stereotypes, right? We've discussed this before and uh, how uh, they tend to do what their friends do, right? So my point here is like um, when they are, your friends are missing a class, when they are not interested at all, it actually starts with one person. I actually tested this once, whereas I started writing my notes and I told this to my friends and they were like, oh my God, oh my God, are you writing notes? Then we have to do it as well, right? And they started doing it as, as well. Right, so my thing here is the student psychology. That's what we can use to essentially make this uh, efficient to uh, to a level where um, it, it's actually efficient. Because right now it's uh, not efficient enough. But uh, there is a, always the question of whether we can make this efficient uh, to the maximum level as a physical classroom, which is obviously not. But um, I see that there are small solutions here and there that we can implement um, to make this efficient and to answer Hiranya about uh, what. Uh, um, about how technology will be used in the future for education, right? Now, in uh, in at least in some schools, I think this will be used because when you miss a class, when there's an event, I think a teacher could reschedule the class to an online platform, right? Even to uh, to explain a lesson that's not practical but a more, a more theoretical lesson, and uh, use that to uh, to conduct those type of classes. Uh, if I'm to provide an alternative for this, then Hirani ki wagadaya thamai kohmat lamai vatter me yomu karagan ni me online igani matte. Ape vishri dalen karu wagadaya thamai karan nangwal vibhagiti an netu. Ape ta then ki yomu ko adai hetai mokkari matruka vakya tete padma karagi ala. Apeng a padam padam avasa ani di we have a question paper. තව ඇත්තටම අපේ ෆයිනල් ග්‍රේඩ් එකට මේ question paper එකෙන් යම් කිසි ප්‍රමාණයක් එකතු වෙනවා. මෙන්න මේ වගේ වාතාවරණයක් ඇති කරොත් ළමයි මේකට තව යොමු වෙන එකක් නැද්ද? කරන්නම් වාල විභාග කරන දේ නෙමෙයි. ඇත්තටම මේ ළමයිගේ විෂයට අදාළ ලකුණු වලට බලපාන විදියට අපි විභාග තත්ත්වයක් ඇති කරන්න මේ e platform තුලින් ළමයි මීට වඩා මේ දෙයට යොමු වෙයි කියලා මට හිතෙනවා. Seeing as though the second wave also might still strike or come upon Sri Lanka, even with schools reopening phase-wise over the next few months, we still have no idea and this can this could actually pose a great help towards the development of this concept. Definitely. And uh, Dinit, you had a question to yes, I did. Amaya. Yes, I did. Uh, so Amaya, you spoke uh, on the lines why Apple created iTunes and not the music industry. Yeah. Uh, I believe you are aware of organizations which refuse to change mm -hmm. and fail because of this. Uh, yeah. I believe you could bring so much value by sharing it with I hear you. Uh, yes, that are, that's a really good question. So basically we've seen companies like uh, Kodak and Blackberry initially they were doing good. They were like the pioneers of the industry but later um, when the system, Android system came and when we stopped using uh, what do you call those tapes? Film, film yeah, the film, film tapes. Reels, yeah. yeah, them. Um, they didn't. They did not adapt to that change that was coming. They kind of uh, protect themselves from that um, change that was supposed to be the next pioneer in the industry. So this is another thing which leads to Sandra. Um, we need to change before change comes to us. 
you know some people just wait okay we'll just take a break that's that's why we need to adapt and build on our entrepreneurial skills you know like always invest in our thought process what what's the next step so and even soft with skills in general yes well. exactly so even with covid what we need to understand is now everyone's going to forget about this in a little time we need to think about what if something happens next how prepared are we going to be so yeah then to answer your question uh businesses who uh, uh, taking that example to all of us as individuals what we need to understand is change before change comes to you always invest in yourself beautiful yes well, i have one question to sandra if that's all right yes um actually sandra and a few others also on this uh, panel said that um everything will happen for the best right that was also that was always portrayed towards the uh, our, our audience right but see the thing is this can also be looked at the, uh, looked at from another point of view okay you can't expect ch- everything to happen for the best by doing nothing at all right so i'm just telling all viewers out there do not take the wrong impression from this you can't you can't expect everything suppose I, i'll give you an example suppose you get sick all right and you say everything's going to happen for the best you're going to get cured on your own all right that's not going to happen unless you take an action towards it unless you go to the pharmacy unless someone else goes gets you a medi- gets you medication and you take the medication unless that happens it is not going to work it is not going to turn your turn your health around right it's going to get worse right so if you want change if you want change to happen for the best you need to take a few actions towards it consistency again the same thing consistency as we mentioned before No, I'd like to add on to that. Uh, do you remember the post Fa- Mr. Fahad Farooq uploaded? There's a difference between being patient and being stagnant. Very true. And you need to understand the difference. Because you see, being patient means you've already taken a couple of steps and you're just waiting on the results. Whilst being stagnant means you've made no moves, you just have a thought in mind and you just stay in place, which is not going to reap any fruits at all. ंबे තව අඹ එක ගෙඩියක් නෙමෙයි අඹ ගෙඩි 10ක් වුණත් හම්බෙයි like you said keep moving like you also said Jimmy right so i think that story kind of gives a meaning behind what that the Don't statement is really right? exactly yes i just want to add into this because in sri lanka i saw like a lot of employees being laid off after this whole situation of uh, covid right and i think it's for the businesses also to actually plan ahead because if you are a business that's something you're supposed to do it's not just uh, just uh, just the individuals that should do this but also if you are a business you should you should specially take care of your employees and not just when in a situation like this uh, cutting their salaries or like laying them off it it's it's maybe good in their perspective but like actually if you see like all of a sudden when with no notice like if a person is laid off you really need to understand the psychological effects that would come into that person the economical effects the family backgrounds and how these person are people are going to sati- uh, survive so i think it's a, it's also a time that the business businesses also evolve to understand the future and uh, and uh, bring out new solutions and keep keep themselves planned ahead for around 5 years at least and in a situation like this how they could uh, keep their employees and keep the company running yet what i feel over there is it's a big clash between the finance section and the hr section you know the hr actually plans ahead for the employees right. but the finance wants to during a situation like this an unpredictable situation right. they just want to cut down cost and not think in a humane way right so exactly. that is a really good uh, point that you brought out so true that but like if you, uh, when you actually see the investors they plan ahead it's mm-hmm. not just that we are talking about today and like yeah. oh, okay there is a covid and maybe we can Uh, we can invest on a little bit of shares mm-hmm. but you actually pre- uh, try to like if you're a st- uh, stock trader if you're a trader you will know like 
when uh, during this time during the uh, month of march actually the prices of many uh, many stock exchanges actually went down but the prediction was it's going to be even lower when it comes to around in august and september mm -hmm. at that point i mean so if you actually check on it like ch think about the future that is what you actually need as a change i think more than just uh, just thinking about this uh, the same moment at that set this okay. is a, an amazing discussion, but I believe we are running short on time. Oh, right Starting from the Yes, uh, so my final message would be please be aware of the change that is to come. Take the time to consider up to which degree you've changed yourself and anticipate the change that's honestly about to come. Don't refuse this change because if you choose to refuse, you are going to fall. You need to be able to absorb this, adapt, and you will not just survive, you will thrive if you do this right. I'd like to conclude this uh, by a quote of Ratunga Munidasya. Gudak Hamoma Dana quote Kak Tamai maker Alut Alut da Notanana lover no Pavati. Kentama, I would like to conclude my. To conclude, I'd like to say that indeed from what we've discussed, we've come to know that change is indeed inevitable, right? So when that happens, it's a time that you understand what has happened and embrace it and actually uh, move forward from the plan ahead. Take it one day at a time, but have that plan on where you will want to go. Okay, don't uh, be in that state where you, uh, uh, where you uh, see everything as unpredictable, but plan ahead and take it one day at a time. Sri Lanka we need to put the tier Kariakshama Vinanang Anivari with action happy body Takari to eat in Sri Lanka we need to put the tier Kotaskaruan may episode taken at the Sita Little than Narabanana Mongolan Ayach Nakana Taksha Niti Padatir to it again a day Pilibanda with Hamanga Vadani Omokaran Apitobatis Hayoga Labadina. So to everyone watching at home, I would like to say that COVID-19 was just a test run. So we need to adapt and uh, be prepared for whatever that's coming next. One thing that we discussed about previously with regards to um, Shiranti's statements were that was the fact about a product that one of our companies had launched towards the government in regards to the legal upgrading the legal system all the way from the first complaint uh, the police station gets all the way to the final uh, judge of the Supreme Court judging that case, that statement. There was, a, there was a system implemented, but it did not reach the right people, so it was not successful. However, the system still exists, and we, it is, of course, a discussion for another day. But apart from that, um, there's also a small, a gentle reminder to all of you out there, viewers out there, check out, uh, there's a video, actually. This is a video of Nas Daily again. Uh, he makes a video on how the country, the nation of Germany, won over Corona. All right, just look at the insights that video has for you. It's just a three minute video. Watch it and look at the insights and you will, you will be mind blown out of the ways Germany confronted Corona. Well, apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, my, the final note I'd like to leave you all with is change has always been there. And by default, we humans have been programmed to adapt towards it. But whether or not you choose to adapt and change towards it is entirely up to you. It is a make or a break, okay? The loss is, it's either your loss or it's either your gain. Thank you. Vasangate nimavela vasante udavina kutta loke viparyasa goda siddha vela tiyena pula. Namut, obe obe manasa eta nivaradilasa hadaga saagena Obe Gatha eight Nivaradiva Hadaga Saga at the Kerega, Mohotaka Hitala Balan. Other Davas and Nimakara, the Taumat Vasangate, Pavatina Loke, Jiva Tenapi, Monavi the head of the Vasanga the Samatek, Antar Gatavella, a Venice at Hadaga Hunikinica, Poda Hitala Balan. May Covid the Haname Vasangatenisa, Apitalabun Hoda Deval, Jivite, Ekatukaragan Nakama, Naraka Deval, Jivite, Beharakaragina, Api 
සුවපත් දිවියකට සුවපත් රටක් විදිහට ඉස්සරහට යන්න උත්සාහ කරමු චරණ ටීවි උත්සේ සීතල ඊතල අපි ඔබට දෙන පණිවිඩයක වසංගතය අපව පාලනය කරන්න ඉඩ දෙදී අපි වසංගතයෙන් අපේ ජීවිතයට ඉගෙන ගත්ත දේවල් ප්‍රායෝගිකව ක්‍රියාත්මක කරමු If you have a glass of water right now at home take it look at it that is water when you put water into a mug it becomes the mug when you put water into a vase it becomes the vase adapt to change just like that you are sri lankan we are sri lankan and sri lankans are strong to go forward with change this is another episode of sitala itala signing out